Probably the most common question I get when running any sort of video campaign in Google Ads is, what impact is this video having? Is it worth running and putting money towards promoting it? And hopefully by now you understand that your video ads can appear in much more campaign types than just YouTube ads. That's where engaged view conversions can come in. It's a fairly newer feature, but it can help show the value of why it is important to run video campaigns to really promote your brand or your product. In this video, we're going to show you what engaged view conversions are, how they work, what campaign types can use and view engaged view conversion metrics, where you can edit the default conversion window within Google Ads, and how you can look at those metrics within your reporting. I think the first thing that we have to talk about is to explain how engaged view conversions work, and it's going to be a lot easier than you think. First, a user has to watch at least 10 seconds of a skippable video. So these are going to be the in-stream ads that a user can skip after five seconds. Now, in some cases, you might use an ad that is less than 10 seconds. And remember, these are skippable ads, so I am not talking about bumper ads. So if you have a skippable in-stream video that is less than 10 seconds, a user needs to watch the entire video without skipping. After a user watches the video, in one of the two requirements that I just mentioned, it's either or, the user then must convert within the engaged view window. And we're going to talk about engaged view windows coming up. And then a really important part is that we have to remember these are view through conversions. If the user clicks on the ad and eventually converts, that will not count as any sort of view through conversion. If the user clicked on the ad, those are going to count through your click through metrics. As I said in the intro, the whole point of this type of conversion is to try to prove the impact your video ads are having by someone just seeing it. So now we can move on and start talking about which types of campaigns can report on engaged view conversions. The first one is a no-brainer. Pretty much been talking about video for the most part. However, it's not all types of video campaigns within Google Ads. These are going to be the video action campaigns, whether it's TrueView for action or the newer pure video action campaigns. I'm not going to explain further what a video action campaign is. I already created a video about it, so you can check that out here. But pretty much it's really conversion focused. If you're really focused on getting leads, getting sales, driving traffic to the website, pretty much your goal is to user to actually do something and not just see your ad. Next, engaged view conversions are available for display campaigns. This is because you can add videos to your responsive display ads. And these display ads containing your video can appear on a variety of websites and apps. Just like a Performance Max campaign, if you do not hand select the videos that you would want to appear within your responsive display ads, Google can still create videos based upon the assets and the text that you have uploaded into the ad. I always like to have that control, so I would still recommend creating your own video and adding it to all of your responsive display ads. If you don't know how to create your own video, there is a newer builder tool available within the asset library, and you can check out a video we made about it right here. And the last campaign type for now is the universal app campaign. It is a big part of app download campaigns, so you'll be able to look at engaged view conversions on this level as well. Now I keep saying for now, because we know videos are available in other campaign types like Performance Max. I'm not saying engaged view conversions are coming to those campaigns anytime soon, and I haven't heard anything from Google saying that they are, but it would be something I would just try to keep an eye out for it if you are really focused on adding more videos to different campaign types. Now, I wanna hop into Google Ads so I can show you where you can view the engaged view conversions reporting. First, we're going to talk about display engaged view conversions reporting. This one doesn't give you as much clear cut information on engaged view conversions, but I at least have to show you where they live. So you can see in the top navigation, I'm only looking at display campaigns here, and you want to make sure that you have the all conversions columns added to your report. If you don't know where that is, head up to columns, then you can modify your columns, and then find the row for conversions, and there we see the option a little bit further down below. So you just need to apply that, which we already have done, and now we're back to the main screen. So you see for this one campaign that's enabled, the difference between the conversions column and the all conversions column. Engaged view conversions for display are included in the all conversions column. So this not only includes the conversions column information, but it also includes other type of information like phone calls, store visits, and yes, the engaged view conversions. Again, it doesn't give you the best information. But that's all we have for now for display. The better type of reporting is for video and app campaigns. So let me show you in a different account. So right now I am just looking at video campaigns within this specific account. And I know pretty much all of them are running video action campaigns. 
It's another reminder, it has to be video action campaigns or TrueView for action. So you may not see this for all of your video campaigns if you're trying to look at engaged view reporting. But for videos and apps, just go to segment, head down to conversions, and then segment by ad event type. So let's just look at this first campaign right here. This first campaign has a total of 345 conversions. But if we split it out, then we get a better understanding of the click-based conversions and then your engaged views conversions. So this is a way to report back of more people are actually converting after just watching your video and not clicking on your ad. This might tell a different story than what you've been originally reporting on thinking those 345 conversions, oh, they all came from people clicking on my video ad. That's not true. So now it makes sense to talk about the conversion windows for engaged view conversions. There are set default windows put in place by Google but advertisers can adjust the default conversion windows within the conversion section within Google Ads. So before we look at adjusting conversion windows, let's talk about the window defaults. I'm gonna start off with video again, but the default conversion window for your video campaigns, whether it's the video action campaign or the true view for action campaign, is going to be three days. That is, someone views the video, doesn't click on the ad, but they convert through some other means within three days. For display campaigns, the default conversion window for engaged view is also three days. And then for app campaigns, it's going to be split into two categories. For the app campaign objective for installs, the engaged view conversion window default is two days. And then for the app engagement objective, the engaged view conversion window is only one day. So these are the defaults put in place by Google Ads. But as I said earlier, the advertiser has the ability to adjust the conversion windows. So let's hop back into Google Ads and I'll show you how to do this. I'm in the conversion section within Google Ads. To find that, you would go up to your tools and settings, and then under measurement, it's the first option, conversions. So I can click on any one of these conversion actions and edit them if need be. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But if you're creating brand new conversion actions, you can adjust the engage view conversion window right away. So you would go up, click on new conversion action. There's a few other steps. I already have another window open. Eventually you'll get to some point, I'm gonna add a conversion action manually just going to scroll down because you can fill out the other information as you want and there we see engage view conversion window this one's defaulting to three days i chose a website based conversion action but then for each conversion that you create you can choose how long you want to track the conversion after someone just watches the video at least 10 seconds so for these there's a few default options if you go up to custom don't think you can get too crazy with it i try to put in a larger number it's telling me you can only enter anything between one and 30 days 30 days is already a default option, so you could just choose 30 days if you want to max out the window. But for whatever reason, if you want to add something weird, you have the ability to do so. I have another account that's running app campaigns. I'm going to head on up to that one. I understand I have a ton of stuff blurred out, but you can see from the Firebase events over here that it is an app-based conversion. The goal here is downloads, so my default conversion window is two days, focusing on downloads. This was an action that was automatically set up when we were using GA4, so I can go into Edit Settings, open up the conversion window, and then if I go and click to adjust, we see the app options are different. I cannot customize it. I just have one day, two days, or three days. I'm just gonna maximize this one, and then I can go and save it. And as of right now, that's all the information we have on engaged view conversions. I understand it may not be the main conversion goal that you wanna to use to optimize any awareness campaigns using videos. However, it does give us more information on how the campaigns are actually performing. We saw that in the one video campaign example where all the conversions that you think you're getting aren't click-based coming directly from the ad, but those video ads are having an impact on overall conversions. We have to remember the mindset a user is in when they are watching these video ads. Many people do not convert right away from a video ad but they can work great for building awareness, introducing new products, or reminding users about your brand. We definitely like to look at it and report on it to our clients if they are accounts that typically have longer conversion windows, people who may not be ready to convert within a day or so after the ad. So we'll look at these view metrics, show them to our clients and say, yes, people aren't converting right away, but they are eventually converting down the line. So if you have any other questions on how engaged view conversions work, we'll do our best to answer it. There's really not much more data that we could talk about, but leave your question in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.